in the chat room on Spreaker.com from Miss Mocha Simone Bella. Anyone want to come to my hotel room? Spice is going to be showing and demonstrating her selection of toys. Yes! I'll be there! Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. I'm just playing, that's just radio. Wife listening right now. Um, I'll get back with you on that, Mocha. We'll try to uh, facilitate that whole thing. All right, back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show. Entertainment up next. Hello, Stu Nation. I am Vince Wright, the Sports Governor. I am the co-host of the Sports and More Show. Make sure you tune in every Friday on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network at 12 noon to check me out and, of course, my co-host, Reggie Lawrence. What's up, everybody? I'm Reggie Lawrence, a.k.a. Dollars and Cents, the other half of the Sports and More Show. But the only difference is I'm much smarter and better looking than my main man, Vince Wright. But like Vince said, make sure you check us out every Friday on the SME Network. Peace. Coming straight from the A. Kick it with your boy KC at www.kc.com. This show covers some of the realest issues trending today. He'll keep you locked in from the first listen. You can find him online on his mobile app or at kysii.com, xsquadaffiliates.com, iTunes, Google Play, and especially on the SME Network on Tuesdays at noon. You don't go to miss it. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one of a kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data. ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to the Doug Stewart Show.idlife.com. That's the Doug Stewart Show.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Footballsportsapp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video. Download for free this fall and register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS again. FootballSportsApp.com. Yes, sir. This here is a remarkable So So Death <laughs> remix. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Hey, Waterhead, I don't think all of these songs are from 2000. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I think you need, you need to check the date on some of these. I swear I don't think this is 2000, but all right, all right. So once again, man, I uh, we gonna move on from this Michael Phelps Usain Bolt thing. 
But I will say this, and I, and I always pride myself on keeping it real, even though I feel like Usain Bolt's probably the better athlete. Um, I won't say that out loud. I just said that just now, you know, um, uh, scenario-wise. <laughs> um, but I got to be honest with you, man. Swimming is much harder than damn running. <laughs> I mean, much harder. I mean, much harder. If you've ever tried to swim long distance, man, and I think I told this story a couple of weeks ago, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I'm a certified lifeguard. When I was like 13, 14 years old, um, I took this lifeguard course. I took the uh, swimming lessons at this, this beach in our hometown of Monk's going to South Carolina called Lions Beach. And so at the same beach, a couple of years later, after I learned how to swim, and it was very important to my mother that we learn how to sp- uh, swim, me and my brother, uh, because a lot of our friends weren't swimming. I mean, it, it, that's just real. And so uh, we had a cousin that, that drowned um, when I was very, very young. So my mother always wanted us to swim. So anyway, I took this lifeguard course a couple of years after learning how to swim. And I'm doing everything just like everybody else, man. And the final exam was to swim from one beach where we were at Lions Beach to another beach. Okay? Somerset Beach. And if you're from my hometown, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We had to swim from Lions Beach to Somerset Beach, which was over a mile long. I'm not ashamed to tell you they had a boat following us. I'm not ashamed to tell you that I got in and out of that boat like 40, 11 times. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, swimming takes every bit of energy and muscle you got. Every muscle you have is being used. So, yeah, I got it. They had a boat following us. I got I probably swim maybe 50 yards, maybe 40, 50 yards, uh, maybe more than that. Probably 75 to 100 yards. I probably swim maybe even more than that. I'm giving, I'm taking away from myself. I probably swim like 100 yards, like a football field long. I'm trying to think of a football field. I, I probably swim like 100 yards, and then I'd put my hand up in there, and I they come and they they throw the big you know fishing hook out there and pull me to the boat. I get in the boat and just chill for a couple of minutes. Get my energy back up, then I jump back in the water and start swimming again. And I did that back and forth, and I made it all the way across, but I was in the boat, in and out of the boat, probably 25 times. I told y'all the other day, man, our bones are heavier, man. We don't have that buoyancy uh, like everybody else. We just don't. And so... Uh, all my little friends, all my little white friends swam across the damn lake like it wasn't nothing. They didn't get in the boat one time. I'm the only ninja in the class. I got in the boat 47, 11 times. Shut up. You would have gotten that boat too. I wasn't trying to drown out there. And they still gave me that damn uh, lifeguard la- uh, license. When they gave me that license, all I could think about was, man, I hope I don't have to swim more than 100 yards to save somebody. Because they ass is dead. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, all right, what's today's date, man? Uh, August 18, 2016. This is a throwback Thursday. Uh, celebrating his 47th birthday today, man, is Ed Norton. Love me some Ed Norton. Actor Ed Norton. was I talking about the other day I was talking about Nicolas Cage and I mentioned somebody else had a birthday and I thought that they were a horrible actor I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum as far as Ed Norton um fantastic actor like I can't remember anything that he's been in that was bad you remember he played David Banner in like one of those versions of the Hulk and everybody in America all of them analysts were killing it I didn't think it was that bad I thought it was actually good and he also starred in Probably one of his earliest things. He uh, he had a main role in the movie Primal Fear with Richard Gere. If you've never seen Primal Fear, I always throw out these movies you should go and see. If you've never seen Primal Fear, it's probably 20 years old at this point. Rent, download, or whatever, on demand, a movie called Primal Fear. It stars uh, Ed Norton as well as uh, Richard Gere. Fantastic movie. 
He celebrates his 47th birthday today. Happy birthday to him. Also celebrating his 80th birthday today is Robert Redford. Damn, you had a good run. Wow. Robert Redford, 80 years old. He was like a big, big name when I was a little kid. I mean, yeah, 40 years ago when he was in his 40s. Uh, also celebrating his 23rd birthday today is Willie Cauley Stein, uh, forward slash center, the Sacramento Kings, former Kentucky Wildcat. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, Malcolm Jamal Warner, a.k.a. Theo Huxtable, turns 46 years old today. I didn't realize that I was um older than Theo. My birthday comes up in a couple of months in November. I thought that Theo was older than me for some reason. All right, but he turns 46 today. Happy birthday to him. Um, there you have it. Those are your birthdays today. If you've got a birthday coming up, man, shoot me an email at Doug at the Doug Show.com. I'll give you a birthday shout-out on the show worldwide. I mean, what better birthday gift could you give yourself than getting a shout-out from the Doug Stewart Show? A couple of other little entertainment-type stories. Um, Jared Leto, the guy that played the Joker in the new Suicide Squad movie, he reportedly says that he feels like he was tricked into doing Suicide Squad movie. Um, to the point where he hadn't even seen the damn movie. Now, I don't know what he means, and I didn't really get into the story. It's kind of like a headline I just cut and paste. I don't know why he feels like that he was tricked, per se. Um, and I guess it has something to do with the fact that they advertised the hell out of him having this huge role in the movie, but he was only in... I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of the damn movie, okay? And everybody thought that he did a great job or whatever. And it does seem like I've seen a lot of advertisement uh, trailers where they really kind of focus in on his character and it makes you feel like that he's going to be a big part of this movie. Such is not the case. I didn't think the movie was as bad as a lot of people are saying. I think I gave it three out of five afros. Um, but dude is real salty. Uh, with the directors and the producers of that film, man, feeling like he got tricked to do the damn movie. And lastly, I mean, this ain't our business, but, I mean, we talk about sports and, you know, athletes and that type of stuff around here, man. Word on the street is RG3, Robert Griffin III, is about to get a divorce, man. Him and his old lady are going to call it quits just after three years. Just after three years, him and his old lady going to call it quits. I hate to hear that type of thing, young man. Uh, probably shouldn't have got married so early anyway with all of that damn money and fame and pocket. I would have just played the field. <laughs> I would have just knocked him down like pins. But RG3 is a different type cat than me. Um, so it sounds like that him and his old lady uh, filed for divorce. That's a sad, sad thing. All right. Hey, uh, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, thank you so much for being totally interactive in the chat room on Spreaker.com. The Doug Stewart Show is sponsored by FootballSportsApp.com, the first live-action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to get in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video download for free this fall, not now, this fall, and register again at FootballSportsApp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make some money? You can do it, man. Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS, all right? And, um, man, you can actually make some money just by referring your friends, all right? So, so go to footballsportsapp.com. Once again, that's footballsportsapp.com. There we go. Thank you, Waterhead. All right, when we get back from the break, man, all I'm going to do is read chat. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about 2000. That's the year for Throwback Thursday. Uh, the top 10 TV shows from 2000. And we still got to talk about Deshaun Watson, man. I promise you I'll get to that story. We got McGregor to talk about. Man, we got a lot of stuff to get to. We got time, though. We good. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show.
Hey, what's going on?